Cryptocurrencies is a term that describes basically virtual uh, currencies that you can use for payments on the internet. Basically pieces of code that uh, can be used like you would use a coin or a bill or any other form of payment, a bank transaction maybe. And you don't necessarily have to reveal who you are. So if you go to a shop and you pay for something, chances are that you get captured by a video camera and Maybe even people ask for your ID, depending on what you buy, if you buy alcohol. And if you use cryptocurrencies for that, it's um, mostly anonymous. So people won't necessarily find out who you are. The same is with bank transactions. If you go open a bank account, the bank will need to see your identification card. They will probably also ask you for what you need the money for. If you, if you put a lot of money into your bank account, they will probably ask you where it comes from. And since cryptocurrencies work a little bit differently technically and there's no single authority over them, so there's no bank-like thing that controls these uh, transactions, nobody's going to ask you for anything. Um, and that, that makes them very interesting for organized crime figures, for example, or uh, cyber criminals that use them in their schemes. And that's the main reason why reporters should be interested in cryptocurrencies as well, because um, this, the people that they investigate will also be interested in these things and will use them. And so you should know about them. Um, there are numerous tools out there for investigating cryptocurrency transactions. So the basic thing is um, due to the nature of these transactions, most of them are public on a so-called blockchain. The blockchain is basically a very, very, very long list that contains all the transactions. And there are uh, some tools out there that help you anal analyze the blockchain and figure out who sent money to whom, which address sent money to which other address. We are working with a tool that's called Elliptic. And the service that this company offers is that you can put a address or multiple addresses basically on a type of watch list. And when money comes in or money goes out, transactions, cryptocurrencies go in and out, you will be notified. And you will also get information on the type of wallet that sent the money in. So they, what Elliptic does is they scan the internet for, um, for ransomware actors, for hackers, for cyber criminals of all sorts. And then they would uh, basically tag wallets. Uh, so you can figure out if something was, if, if a wallet was used in a crime before, for example. And you can see if someone gets a lot of money from a wallet that was in a crime. It's, it's highly likely that this person is also involved in, in the crime as well, or in sorts of cyber crimes as well. And another thing that I would like to, to uh, advise you to go to if you're interested in cryptocurrencies from a re reporter's perspective is a we website called learnmeabitcoin.com. It's an analysis tool where you can type in addresses and um, transaction IDs and you will figure out who sent money to whom. That's the b basic thing. But it has a lot of documentation around working with Bitcoin, working with the blockchain as well. Uh, it's, it's full of instructional material. It's a very helpful and nice website by uh, a person who's running this uh, as a service for the public, I guess. And it, it helps out a lot if you start investigating these things because concepts are explained as well. And at the same time, you can just go there and click on the Explorer function that they have and type in a address and they will give you the information of in incoming and outgoing uh, transactions as well. If you want to go investigate some uh, cryptocurrencies as a reporter, one thing I, su I suggest is that you go look at court documents because there are a lot of court documents out there, especially if they are dealing with uh, cybercrime and hackers that will just list uh, different um, cryptocurrency wallets and you can get the full ID of the wallet and then you can take this and plug it into one of the tools that we talked about before. And you will see all the money going in and the money going out. And investigate from there. So where did they send the money to after they got it? Uh, who was sending money to the criminals? Who was taking the money out of the wallets? Uh, it's a really good starting point. And it's, it's, it's usually included in these documents um, where you will just find the address and can work from there.